Why every time when they want to spread a lie, the first person they start using is celebrities. Black celebrities. Let's get it. Hold on, hold on. Come on, come on. What the business is? What the leak read? You know, homeboy, what they call Is Brooklyn in the house? Brooklyn. Is Brooklyn in the house? No. Yeah. Right. No. Panning, it's your boy Papa Duck. Y'all already know what it is. Like, comment, subscribe. If you're on YouTube, hit the bell so you're notified when I drop a video. Most important, share this video. Did y'all see that? Man, that man was clapping and everything like it was sort of like super stage. If you paid close attention to that whole little, and this is what they do they use black celebrities to help spread the lie. And this is what it's called influence. They have influence on people. But I want y'all to pay close attention, right? If they are lie about the people that have supposedly died from this, then they definitely would lie about this uh, V scene. Put the, put the words together because they be flagging it. The V scene that they trying to give people, right? And all I'm saying is people, a lot of y'all may say this and say that about this whole uh new way of life this whole new the, the, what they call it the um the new normal y'all got to understand what these people are doing these people are changing our lives by the second it's going on at least a, what it's going to be a year it has been a year now this is the new normal and a lot of us going to sit right here and go for it this is how they shape the way we see reality they just did it in a, mm, a quick way think about all the businesses that sprung up from this whole pandemic now you got people uh, pulling up to the grocery store, getting their groceries. All it's doing is making y'all more lazier and lazier. This is what they're doing. They're making us more, they're making it more that de 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 we depend on them more than we depend on ourselves. And when you shape reality that way, trust me, it becomes your reality without you even knowing. When you become accustomed to something and you don't have nothing to compare it to, that's all you know, if you comprehend what I'm saying. When our kids get older, their kids gonna be even lazier. These things are done by design. I told y'all, back in the day, kids used to love to go when, them, when they mama cranked the car. Now these kids don't wanna go nowhere. What they asking you, where you going? When you coming back? How long you gonna be gone? Life is changing right up on our noses. They using black celebrities to help spread lies, right? Same thing that happened with T.I. Now, let me say something about that because a lot of y'all got my other video kind of misconstrued. I didn't, what I'm saying is if, if that what happened with those females, y'all know damn well I'm not for that. I got three girls of my own. But I would not say that he did or didn't do it. I'm not speaking on that. What I am speaking on is when a black celebrity that has star power the way that he does starts speaking out about uh, the issues that we have in America, especially black issues, like he has been speaking out, they start to defame you. They start to tear you down. The same way they build you up, they tear you down. And I never said that if, if he did do that, that it's cool. No, I didn't say that. I'm just showing y'all how they attack people of color that starts to speak out. Even white people, that has nothing to do with color. Just if you know the truth and you speak out on it, they try to tear you down no matter what color you are. Now, what you have to understand is, you see how they took his TV show? That's how they start doing it. They start stripping you down. But all I'm saying is, us as black folks, when we have a figurehead um, that speaks out, that has a platform, soon as they speak out, speak out, speak out, and then something like this happens, we need to help back them up. This is why we don't have a lot of celebrities that jump out there and, and try to come to our rescue. And a lot of y'all be the first thing y'all say is, well, if I had the type of money he had, or if I had the star power that she had, I'll do X, Y, Z. This is why those people don't do that. These people spend their whole life building their career up, 
Then they stick their neck out for the people. And as soon as they do, they need your help. Y'all be the first one to tear them down. I'm not saying everybody. But it be a lot of people that help tear them down. It's just crazy, man, the world we live in. All I'm saying is as long as we divide it, it'll, it'll never happen. We have to work on that first. But I am saying this. You can look at that video I showed y'all, Spike Lee. It was staged. But you can see how they use these people. The bigger the artist, the bigger the entertainer, the bigger the person, the bigger the puppet. They don't let these people get this big unless they are carrying out their agenda. Walt Disney didn't get this big unless he carried out the agenda. I've done videos and I've showed y'all where Walt Disney was trafficking drugs. Oh no, I've showed y'all where they got the pipelines out in Walt Disney that has, um, what it does is it, 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 it releases these, these um, smells to make you want to buy food. Like a form of manipulation to get you to spend money. I've done, man, I've exposed a lot of stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? And all I'm trying to get y'all to do is think, man. Just think. I don't have to go so deep into a lot of stuff. Just think. Think. That's all I try to get y'all to do. Think. Use that big piece of meat between your, your ears. Stop letting them think for us. But I do want to say this before I end this video because I ain't want to make it that long. I do want to say this. People. People, people, people. I don't care how much money you got. I don't give a damn how big your house is. I don't care. I don't care what you got going on. It's us against them. Get that in your head. So to all you uppity ass people out there who think just because you got a little money that this is not going to affect you, you got to be crazy. You got to be crazy. Come on now, open your think. Just think. And and and, and us being divided. I'm going to give y'all another scenario on why dividance is, is killing us or, or hindering us. It's because if, if you got a complaint with people, and just say this complaint doesn't concern a few people. They're not going to put forth no energy to help. It's just the, those who are affected by it. So by us being divided, right, by us being divided, it's only a few people that's going to step forward with things that only affects them. But if we move as a unit, we can get a lot done. Because what if another situation come up that doesn't affect them, but now it's affecting you now? Now you need their help to push. And they, you need to back. Now, you see what I'm saying? Now you need their backing to say, hey, you know, you see what I'm saying? If we if we so div if we divide it, we'll never get nowhere. I, it don't matter. You be fooled by the race thing and the color thing. Yeah, it is white supremacy. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know a black and white thing to a certain degree but at the end of the very end of the day it's them against us those same very people that's at the top to 1% they don't give a damn what you are preferably they want to get rid of you know us blacks we know that but at the end of the day it's like they use the color thing to make us fight against each other on a lower level we basically help take out our own people and take out each other while they sit back and just delegate or they sit back and puppet. They, they they pull the strings. And it's just crazy, man, the way this world is. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna even get on religion. We not gonna talk about religion. Oh my god. Anyway, you know I love y'all. I love y'all. And I just wanna bring that to y'all attention, man. We have to wake up, we have to understand what's going on. But more importantly, we need a we need some type of foundation as a people. The peoples, we need to, the peoples need a voice. The peoples need a voice. We need to learn economics. We need to learn finances. We need to learn credit. We need to learn all these different things to the point where we can step up and compete. You understand me? As black folks, as whatever. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, you know I love y'all, man. Just want y'all to, to, to have some, some type of peace of mind where you can relate this stuff to your kids, man. Don't just let them go about life and not be prepared. You get what I'm saying? And, um... I hope y'all have a blessed day. Till the next video, y'all like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Papa Duck, man. You know I love y'all, man. I'm out. Hold on, hold on. Come on, come on. What the business is? What the leak?